Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X2. Last time we got the Air Dash. Yeehaw! Now that we have that important upgrade, we can go to Wheel Gator stage and pick up the upgrades there. It's at the beginning of the level. It's the most important upgrade besides the Air Dash. You'll see. You go like. Wah boom! Huh! Cha cha cha! Yeah! Mega Man X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your X Buster. With it, you will be able to charge energy in both arms at once. This enables you to shoot a double shot or to charge any weapon. Woo woo! So now if we charge to purple, we can fire two shots or fire a charged version of our weapon. But anywho, after the right armor sequence in this level is the heart tank. So, bring out your speed burner and charge it. And dash, jump, and fire! And watch your step. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Alright. The next sub tank is in bubble crab stage. After the heart tank is a section that looks kind of like this. You come to this cliff here and then you go, oh, hey, a little energy that I can't get to. And you charge your bubbles. Bubble charge. Yeah, and then jump as soon as you hit the surface and bam. Sub tank number three. It's time to get that heart tank we missed in Overdrive Ostriches stage. And Dash now. Da -da 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 -da. Dash now, jump and oh shit. You're gonna die no matter what. Make sure you have an extra life by the time you reach that. You could use uh, Flamestag's weapon to get there, but I actually made it the legit way. Anyway, now that that's taken care of, it's time to put the hurt on. Mighty Morphin Power Moth! Go, go, Power Moth! This is a uh, heart tank we can't get to yet because we need Crystal Snail's power. We'll get him here later though. When you reach this thing, go like, Hey, Wheel Gator, what's up? And use your power of justice to overcome adversity. Mega Man X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your body armor. With it you can absorb damage and transfer it into explosive weapon energy. It's a weapon that doesn't use weapon energy, instead it gets its energy by you taking damage. It's a really weak ass weapon though. Not useful against bosses whatsoever. But hey, if you find yourself totally surrounded by regular enemies, then I guess it has a purpose. Still I can feel like I can shoot my way out of situations like those anyway. I don't like it at all. I wish they would stop putting this ability in my game.
Up here is a weird parasite mini boss thing. It gets inside the armor, and the only way you can damage the armor is in the center part. The parasite itself is weak to the speed burner. Same as Mork Moth. Oh, two shots and you're dead. Bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang. Whoa. These green bugs are like head crabs or head humpers or whatever you call them. Except they're not dangerous at all, really. All they do is randomly make you jump or change directions or randomly fire your weapon. They can't actually damage you unless you run straight into them. Like I did back there. The flying bugs, I think, can damage you normally, though. Pew 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 pew! Look! Another Parasite mini-boss thing! I'm Hoodoo Brown! You were. Ouch! Bastards. Bastards stung me! The spin wheel of justice kills these guys in like one hit. It's awesome. So yeah, get out your spinning burner cause Mighty Morphin Power Moth is weak to it. Red Ranger all the way! The interesting thing about this dude is that he has two different strategies during the boss fight. During the cocoon form, he'll like try to swing around like a wrecking ball and take control of the ground when he lands. Once he Spider-Man's back up, jump around him, ring around the rosy style, and keep blasting him until he falls. And here's stage two of the fight. In moth form, just dash underneath them and then jump up to fire and repeat the process till he's dead. Really easy boss fight with his weakness. I bet I could beat him without his weakness though too, so... You got Silk Shot. Okay. Up next is Magnus Centipede, and I fucking hate centipedes. Like, really? The the worst things in the world are like uh pasta, dancing, and centipedes. By far. The centipedes are the worst things on the planet. The Magnus Centipede's level is pretty annoying. It's got all these spotlights that activate alarms and can be a pain in the ass, especially if you don't want to show up. If you, especially if the light, the lights don't show up on your emulator for whatever reason. You need to stay off the first set of spotlights in order to get the heart tank. This is stupid, it's like not even showing up for me, so I just have to guess. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> but hey. I somehow managed to do it. You need to air dash for this part, there you go. Alright, charge up your speed burner. And dash, jump, and fire. See, if you activated the spotlight, that gray thing wouldn't have been there and you wouldn't be able to get up here. Continuing three, these purple box can be destroyed. But watch out because... Everything tries to crush you during these block sequence things. But charge up your speed burner again and dash jump. 
might take you a couple tries to get the height of the, for this jump. It took me a, on my first run. It took me like five tries and I actually ran out of energy. And voila, voila, they would say. I don't know. Fuck, I can't do a good French accent. Uh, whatever. This hologram master sword thing is weak to the bubble splash. Can only be damaged at the hilt. Sometimes it's best just to take hits so you can get a shot off. Because the green part is like invincible and the blue part. Ah! Damn green part. Bouncy, bouncy! Everybody's doing it! Okay, hug the right wall to dodge the first set of spotlights, and then hug the left wall to dodge the second set. Now dash like no tomorrow. If the spotlights hit you, the blocks will be falling much faster. And uh, If this thing manages to scan you like it did to me, well, the mini boss up ahead gets stronger depending on how much you got scanned. I got scanned once, so this fight will take longer than usual. Normally he's green, but if you get scanned once, he turns blue, and if you get scanned many times, he turns red, and the fight just takes... He just has more HP, he doesn't really do anything different. I'm not sure if he has a weakness, quite frankly. He's not a hard bo mini boss thing to begin with. Why are there too many bosses in this level? I don't know. I guess Magnus Centipede is just a douche, just like all the other centipedes out there. God, I hate centipedes. Worst creatures on the planet. Up here, the alarm goes off no matter what. So just try not to get crushed, and you'll be fine. Magnus Centipede is weak to Mighty Morphin Power Moth's weapon, the Silk Shot. Once you shoot him with this thing, his abdomen pops off, and since his abdomen is off, he can't grab us and mess up our powers and whatnot. Like, he will like grab you and take away your ability to charge your weapon and stuff. I don't know. Don't fight him without his weakness, is all I have to say. But anyway, when he's on the ground, shoot at him, but if he's on the ceiling, shoot away from him. It's a pretty easy fight with his weakness, but without his weakness, he's a really, really, really hard. The only thing I don't like about this jackass centipede is that he fakes out a lot and it just wastes your time and weapon energy. Oh, look at me, I faked out. I'm so. Oh, I faked out twice. Oh. In your face, Mega Man. Huh, I wasted like two of your shots and like 20 seconds of your time. How does that feel? Oh, uh, that was mildly inconvenient. Ah, uh, that's what I- what? Why don't you go eat a spider or something, centipede? Filthy bad. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man X2, we get the rest of the power-ups. You got Magnet Mine. They couldn't just call it homing missile, couldn't they? <laughs>